Okay, this is Bridge with Stephen from the Lake Chapala Duplicate Bridge Club. Today we're going to be talking about Jacoby 2 no trump and we'll also be discussing simple splinters a little bit. Um, this is the third of four parts on the subject of raising partners' major suit opening bid. Last week we discussed the Bergen raises, which are uh, a series of raises of partners' major suit opening bid made with less than game forcing strength and four card support. Now what we're going to be talking about is how to raise partners' um, major suit opening bid with four card support and game forcing strength. The Jacoby two note trump bid is made, and it is a two note trump call after one heart or one spade. When the uh, responder is an unpassed hand, partner has opened one heart or one spade, therefore um, has opened in the first or second seat if we're an unpassed hand. There has been no interference. My right-hand opponent has not bid, so I can bid you no trump. There's been a, a responder has four plus card support for openers major and game forcing strength. And this bid, two no trump, after one heart or one spade, is forcing to four of a major. And that's going to be important when we talk about um, the menu of rebids by uh, opener. Many partnerships require a responder to be balanced or semi-balanced. They use simple splinters to show the same hands when they're unbalanced. So, if I have four card support and game force and strength in either a balanced or unba unbalanced hand, the Jacoby 2 no trump response is um, available to me, assuming I'm an unpassed hand, there's been no interference. But when I'm unbalanced, the same hand, four card support and game force and strength, will consider a simple splinter, which is a double jump shift into the short suit. So, after an opening bid of one heart, a bid of three spades, four clubs, or four diamonds would be a splinter, and would show that um, unbalanced hand. After an opening bid of one spade, a uh, jump to four clubs, four diamonds, or four hearts would be the splinter. But that would be a hand with a singleton or a void. When we have no singleton or void, when we have either a balanced hand, which means at most one doubleton, or a, a semi-balanced hand, which means two or more doubletons, then we will use the Jacobi two no trump. And the shapes that are balanced would be 4 triple 3, 4 4 3 2, 5 3 3 2. All those hands have at most one doubleton. And the hands that would be semi balanced would be 5 4 2 2, 6 3 2 2, and 7 2 2 2. All those hands have two or three doubletons, but no singleton or void. So they're semi balanced. Now let's look at opener's first rebid. We're in a Jacoby 2 no trump sequence. Partner's open. Uh, no, we have opened a major. Partner is responding to no trump. If we have a good five card second suit, here's the time to bid it. What we mean by a good suit is two of the top three honors. And uh, we bid it as a four level. So an option like one heart, two no trump, four clubs shows that I have a good five card heart suit, I have a good five card club suit. And you with your two no trump response are showing me uh, four card card support and game forcing strength with a balanced or semi-balanced hand. Now, if I don't have a good second um, suit to show, if I have shortness, now's the time to show it. So if I have a singleton or void, I show that as a three level. So for example, one spade, two no trump, alert, that's the Chicago two no trump. Opener now bids three hearts, opener showing a heart, singleton or void. Notice that these are new suits. A new suit at the four level shows a second suit. A new suit at the three level shows shortness. Now, if we don't have either of these, lacking these, we rebid the major or no trump. And we're going to do this using the principle that we've discussed many times in the past and we'll discuss again in the future, that stronger hands get lower ranking bids. So we have three more bids at our disposal. Four of the major, three no trump, and three of the major. Those are rebids that opener can make after opening one of the major. With the minimum one level opening hand, uh, we, we jump to um, four of the major. So the bidding would go something like one heart, two no trump, four hearts. Um, that's the principle of fast arrival also. The idea that we jump with weaker hands and go more slowly with um, stronger hands. With an intermediate strength one level opening bid, uh, roughly 16 to 18, we would uh, bid three no trump. So the bidding would go something like one spade, two no trump, three no trump. That is not an invitation to play in three no trump. That bid is forcing, just like this one. With 19 to 21 points, the bidding would go something like one heart, two no trump, three hearts. That shows the big hand, the maximum one level um, opening bid. And both of these bids are forcing. Remember, we're promising to not stop before we get to four of a major. The whole purpose of this system of bids is to try to find a slam. 
Uh, we know we have an excellent chance at game. As soon as some partners open the bidding of one of a major and we have four card support, game force and strength in that major, we already know we're going to game in that major. So all that remains to be settled is whether we have a small or grand slam. And this system of bids is designed to try to um, um, unlock whether that's the case. Which, which is the reason why the number one priority is to show a good second card suit. Because what we're looking for are suits that can take tricks. So we have at least one good suit, or what's going to be our trump suit. If, uh, if opener can show a, a good second suit and responder has support for that, um, we're well on our way to nine or ten trips, tricks right there just in those two suits. Um, let's look at some examples of some of this uh, put into play here. On this one we're going to talk about why shortness is important and why we like to show partner where our shortness is. These two hands are the same hands with one difference. I've taken the diamonds and clubs and reversed them here. But this hand is the same as this hand, and otherwise the, the spades and hearts are the same. And what we're going to see is even though these hands have the same high card strength, the same distribution, the same spots all together, one will make a slam and the other won't. And the problem is right here. The shortness in this hand is opposite weakness. That's a good thing. The shortness in this hand is opposite strength. Um, that's not such a good thing. Not when the strength isn't an ace. Look at this hand. One spade, two no trump alert, game force and strength over here, four card support, a balanced hand, four triple three shape. Um, don't have a good second five card suit to show you, which would have been my first choice if I had it, but I do have shortness to show you in clubs. So after one spade, two no trump, I bid three clubs to show you the shortness and um, in, in the clubs, and you're very happy to hear that because you have nothing in clubs. Um, all of our high cards are working. They're in places where we need them. We have second round control of clubs with zero high card points um, used to do that. That's a good thing. So after four no trump, five diamonds, we're assuming 14, 30 Roman key card Blackwood in all of these um, options. To show five diamonds shows three key cards here. We've got the ace and king of trump and a side suit ace. And so knowing that, um, uh, partner goes to six spades, and uh, we have a, a good play for that contract. It looks like we're only going to lose one club. We got five spades, three hearts is eight, four diamonds is twelve, making six. But in this um, almost same hand, what we're going to find is that we're going to have problem in clubs. We're not going to be able to make uh, six spades anymore. Uh, we may get two pitches on these diamonds here, but it's not enough. We're still going to lose um, a diamond and a club minimum. So in this hand, one spade, two no trump alert, three diamonds, now my shortness is in diamonds. Oh, don't like that as well. Liked it when it was in clubs, don't like it when it's in diamonds. So we just sign up with four spades. And that's how we put this system to work. We found a slam when it was there and we avoided a slam we couldn't make when it wasn't there. All right, now we'll look at um, an example of a hand which does have a good um, second five card suit. One spade, two no trump alert. Um, menu of priorities, they have a good um, second five card suit at the four level. If I have one, I do have one, I do have two of the top three, so I jump to four diamonds. Partner likes that. Partner knows it's a good suit. So I'm not going to be bidding a, a, a raggedy suit headed by the jack there. I've got two of the top three. Partner has honor third in my um, side suit. Partner is looking at um, probably five spades, probably um, five diamonds right now. Um, and with two aces um, in hand, that's 12 tricks. This hand is certainly um, headed for small slam. Is there a chance for grand slam? Well, let's see. One spade, two no trump alert, four diamonds jump in my um, second suit, four no trump. How many key cards do you have? Five diamonds. I have three. One, two, three. This means three or zero, but I'm an open hand, so partner figures it's three. Um, since partner is looking at the Queen of Trump, we'll do a little bit of review of, of, of key card Blackwood here. Had partner not been looking at the, at the Queen of Trump, partner might have been interested in making a Queen ask here. But holding the Queen of Trump, partner goes right to five no Trump and asks about um, aces. I'm sorry about kings. And the response of uh, uh, six hearts says, "I have the King of Hearts, but I don't have the uh, King of Clubs or the King of Diamonds." But that's fine. That's exactly the king we wanted to hear about. We don't care about, um, we, we're looking at the king of diamonds, we don't care about the king of clubs um, in, in this option. So uh, uh, we found our 13 tricks. Five spades, five diamonds, 
Sue the Side, Sue the Aces, and Partners King of Hearts. 13 tricks, bid seven. Okay, now what we're going to look at down here are these three bids. Um, these hands uh, get progressively stronger for, uh, um, for opener. In this case, partner's gonna, uh, opener's going to bid one spade, two no trump, with a minimum opening bid, seven and six is 13 high card points. Partner jumps to four spades, and with responder having um, a, a minimum game forcing hand, uh, is happy to stop at four spades and just passes. Okay, now in this um, second one here, we're going to be looking at a hand where opener has an intermediate strength one level opener. Bids one spade. Uh, responder makes a Jacoby two no trump call. Opener shows this intermediate strength range to 16 to 18 roughly with a three no trump call. Responder bids four no trump and they're on the way to slam. Making a uh, bidding six spades finally. In this case, opener has a real big hand and uh, with uh, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 18, 19 high card points. It goes one spade, two no trump, three spades. And once again, the responder might go into a four no trump call and we'd be on our way into exploring slam. On this last hand, what we're going to do um, is consider something a little bit different. Here we have a choice. Um, partners open one spade. We could make a Jacoby two no trump call here because we have game force and strength. 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm giving myself an extra point for the um, ninth trump. So one spade, I could say two no trump, but I have another choice here. I could also show this um, good five card suit. And the same pr principle that applies over here. If we want to show two good suits, first we bid this one, then we bid this one, one spade and four diamonds. Um, in this case, the two good suits are on, in different hands, but we might want to consider the same principle. Good suits are where tricks are made. So one spade, if this hand bids two hearts now instead of two no trump, uh, we'll find the double fit and eventually find our way to um, what looks like a reasonable slam. Okay, um, that's it for today.